So big news, the CEO of NVIDIA, Yenzen Wong was interviewed today, Sunday, July 13th, by Fareed Zakaria on GPS, the global public square on CNN. And it was one of the rare interviews that Yenzen has done since the huge success of ChatGPT and the subsequent explosion in generative AI and the value of NVIDIA. And so there were some really interesting points made during this discussion. Let's go through some of the key quotes and important points. The first point that Yenzen makes is that the impact of AI on employment is completely dependent on our ability to keep innovating. And he says that if the world runs out of ideas, then productivity gains translate to job loss. But if we can keep innovating, then we will keep creating new jobs. And he is absolutely right. If we look at the history of technology, every time there's been a big change in technology, there's been some jobs that have been lost, but way more innovation and way more jobs that have been created. And this is why he says all occupations will feel the effects of AI in some form. Some jobs will disappear, no doubt about it, but many will not and many new ones will be created, especially if society stays creative. And I think that there's an important point here that I think Fareed Zakaria made as well, which is that not all jobs are going to be replaced by AI. Those that require a high degree of creativity, human touch, or critical thinking, those jobs are still going to be needed. And this is why I continue to believe that the best way to future-proof yourself is to focus on developing those skills, those skills that really require that human touch. The next thing that Yenzen says is that AI is the most accessible technology advancement yet. And I think this is another really important point that he makes. What do I mean by this? When I look at AI today, when I look at the tools that are available, I am amazed at how little technical skill it requires to be able to leverage these tools. Take ChatGPT, for instance, you don't need to be a programmer. You don't need to have any special skill. You can just use it. And this is what Yenzen means when he says that AI is the most accessible technology advancement yet. It's almost like he's saying that AI is not just a tool for the elite few, for the highly skilled, but it's a tool for the many, for the masses. It's a democratizing force, and I couldn't agree more. With that said, I think it is important to remember that just because AI is easy to use does not mean it as easy to master. There's still a lot of things that you need to learn. There is still a lot of skills that you need to develop in order to be able to use it effectively. But the barrier to entry is so low, the barrier to getting started is so low that anyone can start using it today. This is your host. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and I will see you in the next one. NVIDIA CEO Yensen Huang was interviewed today by Fareed Zakaria on CNN. And there were some very interesting points made by Mr. Huang on the topic of AI and the future of work. Let's have a look at three key quotes from that interview. The first point I want to make is that Yen Zin Huang is worried about a world that runs out of ideas. Because if that happens, then productivity gains will translate into job losses. So here's what he had to say about that. If the world runs out of ideas, then productivity gains translate to job loss. But if we keep our minds open and we keep innovating, then I think we can weather any kind of storm. So Yenzen Huang makes a very valid point there. And I think it is also a segue for me to say that the reason why we are seeing so many people lose their jobs recently is not necessarily just because of AI, but also because of a lack of ideas. I mean, let's face it, innovation has been lacking in recent years, decades even, and we've seen companies laying off people left, right and center. When you have a lack of good ideas, when you have a lack of innovation, you see companies cutting headcount. So Yenzen Huang is absolutely correct there. But he does make a very important point that if we keep our minds open, if we stay innovative, then we should be able to ride this wave. Now, his second point is an interesting one. All occupations will feel the effects of AI in some form or another. Some jobs will go away, no doubt about it. But he believes that many more will be created. Here's what he said about that. All occupations will feel the effects of AI in some form. Some jobs will go away, but many more will be created. 
Especially if we stay creative, AI is a force that can actually help us. So here's my counterpoint to that. Yes, all jobs will be affected by AI, but not all of them will be affected in the same way. And I believe that those who are in jobs that require more human touch, more empathy, more creativity, those jobs are not going anywhere. You can outsource some jobs, but you cannot outsource everything. There will always be a need for human touch, human empathy, and human creativity. And these are the things that robots and AI cannot replace. And then Yenzen Huang makes this final, I think, very interesting point about AI being the most accessible technology advancement yet. AI is the most accessible technology advancement yet. It doesn't require any particular skill. Anyone can use it, it's a democratizing force. I do believe that AI is a democratizing force, but I think it's a double-edged sword because yes, it does empower the everyday person, but it also empowers those with bad intentions. We have seen just recently, just last week, how this new wave of AI is being used to spread propaganda, fake news, and to impersonate people. So I do agree with Yens and Huang that AI is the most accessible technology advancement yet, but I think it's a double-edged sword. It can be used for good, but it can also be used for bad. We'll have to wait and see what the future brings. We'll have to wait and see how this AI technology evolves. But one thing is for sure, as Yens and Huang pointed out, all jobs will be affected, some will disappear, others will evolve. For much more info, check the links in the description of this video and subscribe to our channel.